Hey, I'm Kenneth Wajda. I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado. Welcome to another one of my weekly photo chats. So today I want to talk about, well, first let me remind you, if you can support the shows, please do go to supportkenneth.com or hit the Patreon link. Your support is the only thing that I can count on to make these shows continue. And thank you to all of my supporters. A dollar, two dollars, five dollars a month is an incredible contribution that collectively we can keep this show going and keep this ball rolling. All right, today I want to talk about a street photographer. So I got a gift card for my birthday and I thought I'm going to use that for a book because I love photo books because that's of some people say photo books are even better than museum shows or anything online, of course, but uh, better than anything because you get to create the sequence in which people will view those photographs. So the sequencing really is in your control. And it's a very personal experience. You're sitting alone with that person's work. You're looking through their camera, what they photographed, and seeing their final print. And I like that. So I ended up picking up this book, which is Vivian Mayer, Street Photographer, because I had seen it in bookstores, and every single photograph is rich. And she is such a great master at, you know, if she shoots somebody from the back, it's going to be something really, really something to say. She's shooting a lot of, you know, I think she opens this with a, just even like these street portraits. Like she's up close with that roller flex. She's really getting and filling the frame and she's documenting those people and those kids. And some of that is time that makes these so valuable, but some of it is her ability to go so close to people and to go document them. And they're not smiling for the camera. They're posing or they're being. And she's capturing real life in those moments. Something like that. She's capturing real life. And he's posing, but he's not the smile for the camera picture for mom. It's more of an attitude photograph. Highly recommended. Vivian Mayer's photographs. Street photographer. And if you're interested in her life, this book by Pamela Banos, I, I love reading this book. This book goes back and forth between a history of her world when she was growing up and where she was working and where she was working as a nanny, where she was making photographs and then shopping at photo stores. And then it goes to her story with the way her storage unit was sold and how her work went out into the public and was bought and she wasn't able to even recover it before she passed away. And then how the people who found it, they made up a gallery and the person who found it, John Maloof, is who did this book. And this is a story of how he ended up getting those photographs. But it's really a great book because it's an easy read. It's smart in that it goes back and forth between here's Vivian in her world and here's what's happening in the internet world where her work is being discovered. And it goes back and forth enough that I find it to be enlightening. She kind of dispels some of the myths about one person bought everything. Actually, with several people bought things. At first, they were just selling prints on eBay because they were just trying to sell some of the stuff they picked up. And it wasn't until later that it became known that there's a body of work that we could get it all back together. And John Maloof went and tried to recover some from some of the other people at the auction who bought some. And it's a fascinating story because she is such a great mystery. Would she want this work seen? Is this even the work that she would have chosen? If we could see her contact sheets, would we see not only the way she worked, but also would she have different choices? And is she actually, would her wish be not to have any of them seen? Some authors burn all their work before they pass because they don't want people publishing them after their death. And it's a really good question. But her work is brilliant to us now. I bet if she had shown this in the 1950s, she may have not gotten much interest from galleries because there's probably a lot of people shooting things on the street that look like ordinariness, just like the people shooting street photography now have a hard time getting it seen. 
But adding that element of 60 years, now we get to see work that's like, wow, that's got a real look to it. That's a lot different. You could take a Rolleiflex out now. I can take a Rolleiflex out now and make photographs and put them away. Time will make them better. Time makes all photographs better. I think it was Gary Winogrand that said it to somebody. He's like, whatever photo you make, make the best photo you can because they only get better. Time makes them better. So if you're looking to read about a fascinating woman who knew how to take a snapshot of herself as well as her world and document it and create some mystery because she never actually got them published, it's a good story. And her book of photographs I highly recommend. It's inspiring to see people working with such strong photographs, not just shooting ordinariness in an ordinary way, but ordinariness with a special way. All right, that's today's photography talk. If you're enjoying these, hit the subscribe button. If you can support them, please, please do hit the Patreon. I'll be back next week. We'll talk more photography. As always, here's to good light.